Hey anyway, folks, it's Diecast before you hear again, back with another video. And today's video was a little bit special, it's a little bit new, and it is exciting. We are just days away, or maybe just a day or two. It depends when you're watching this video, and it's about the NASCAR playoffs. 16 drivers, 10 races, someone's gonna be a champion. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this playoff deal. I prefer the traditional points format, but it's NASCAR, gotta go with it, you know? And I'm gonna be giving my prediction on who's gonna win the 2019 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Championship. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first drivers to have a shot at winning this championship, well, let's run through them right now. Kyle Busch, who has had a very good season this year and is in fact your points leader. Uh, he won the regular season points championship and let me tell you guys, he is definitely a favorite. Then you got his teammate, Denny Hamlin. This cat has won a bunch of races, including the Daytona 500. And then over there in third in points, it's Martin Truex Jr., another Joe Gibbs Racing driver. So three out of the top four, top five, whatever, all three of the top three are Joe Gibbs Racing drivers. So no question, Toyota definitely has the advantage in the playoffs. Fourth, Kevin Harvick. Fifth, Joey Logano. Two four drivers, they've done a pretty good I think they've had a pretty good season. I mean, sure, Logano has not been flashy, but Kevin Harvick has been on a tear. Watch out for the four car. Uh, sixth, we got Brad Keselowski. Seventh, Chase Elliott. Kurt Busch in eighth. Chase Elliott has two wins, and he's, he's my driver. Then we have Alex Bowman, who got Chicagoland. Kurt Busch won Kentucky. I mean, Brad Keselowski, he's picked up, you know, a couple wins. I, I really think... Kurt Busch could be a huge sleeper, honestly. As we go down the list, we got Eric Jones, who won the Southern 500. Kyle Larson, who has not won a race in two seasons. It is beyond time for Kyle Larson to put that Ganassi 42 in victory lane. And then we got Ryan Blaney, who has not won this year at all. 13th through 16th, William Byron, Eric Almirola, Clint Boyer, and Ryan Newman. And that is your 2019 playoff grid. So the playoffs start this Sunday at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, a night race. I am so excited for it, okay? Well, this is also a huge opportunity. Usually we used, we used to see kind of like Chicagoland, New Hampshire, those type of tracks be your opener. Well, guess what? Last year it was Las Vegas. This year it's Las Vegas as well. And I really think that this could be a huge uh, this could be a huge make or break for some of these drivers. If you don't run good at Vegas, you could find yourself easily out of the round of 16. So you have Vegas, Richmond, and Charlotte. Who do I think is going to win Vegas? Honestly, I think we could see a driver, not Kyle Busch, not Kevin Harvick. I think in Kurt Busch. I'm just saying, guys, I think Kurt Busch could easily win Las Vegas and put himself in the round of 12, and that's going to be my prediction. Kurt Busch is going to win the first race of the playoffs. That's my prediction. And then race two of the playoffs, I think Denny Hamlin is going to win at Richmond. A lot of people are going to say, eh, Kyle Busch. I'm taking Denny Hamlin to win Richmond. And in the third race, the Charlotte Roval. Now, let me tell you, this race, anybody can win. I mean, anybody. It's going to be a surprise win, honestly. I think we're going to have a surprise winner. Someone who, I don't think it's going to be a new winner, but I don't think it's going to be an expected one. I think this could be a Mark Truex Jr., a Chase Elliott, a Clint Boyer. Anybody could win this, really. I think a lot of different drivers could really win this Roval, but my prediction, Joey Logano. I think it's going to be Denny Hamlin at Richmond, Logano, at the Roval, and in the playoff opener, Kurt Busch. That is my three predictions for the round of 16. Now, these three drivers, they've already won this season, so they're going to be moving on pretty much regardless because they're going to have extra points, but that win guarantees them into the round of 12. But that means four drivers are not going to make the cut. My first driver to be eliminated, and this might just be a shocker, Kyle Larson. I think Kyle Larson is going to have issues at either Vegas or Richmond, and it's going to pretty much put him in a must-win situation at Charlotte. I actually predicted that he would win the championship this year. 
I'm not so confident in that anymore. So I'm going to say Kyle Larson is either going to be 15th or 16th. I think he's going to have issues, guys. I think it's going to be a must-win situation at Charlotte. And the second driver I'm going to ride off, Ryan Newman. He's, I think he's going to be he's going to be good at Vegas. He's going to drop off at Richmond and probably get collected at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, I'm going to say Newman's going to be eliminated as well. And in my third driver, that's not going to make the cut. I think William Byron is not going to make it. And as a hindered guy, I'd want the 24 to move on. But I think Byron just does not have the speed. This I, he's just he's been hit or miss. Like he's really good in qualifying. But we have not seen him just go out there and just just flat out just have raw speed uh kind of like how elliot you know might have on a consistent basis even alex bowman so i think william byron i don't think he's gonna win i i don't think he's gonna win and i don't think he's gonna make it to the round of 12 so i'm gonna go ahead and write him off and the final driver eliminated in the first round i'm gonna say clint boyer now i'm a huge clint boyer fan but i think he's going to be a fraction in or a fraction out i really do sure uh you know kyle larson might have five extra bonus points over the cut line but if he has any trouble it's going to be it's going to be doomsday for him. clint boyer is one of my favorite drivers he has not won this year he hasn't shown speed so i really think that uh, he's going to be out early and that's going to be the cut line it's going to be Kyle Larson, Ryan Newman, William Byron, and Clint Boyer. That is my four drivers to be out in the first round. So moving on to the round of 12, we got Dover, Talladega, Kansas. This is going to be, I think, more of the, the meat and potatoes of the field. If you're a really good driver that is very consistent, has won a lot of races, Hamlin, Kyle Busch-esque, this is definitely a, a really good round for you. Talladega might be a wild card, but Kyle Busch is 40 points for the good, just on bonus points. And if he was happen to win a race, he's automatically advanced, so he's looking very good on points. I don't think a wreck at Talladega would really do him in, because he's going to gain points at Kansas. He's going to gain points at Dover. And my prediction, I think Dover... Now, you got Chase Elliott, who won this race last year. You got Mark Trux Jr., who won this race earlier this year. I think Truex could go back to back. I really do. I think Truex could go back to back. But I'm going to throw a wild card out there. I'm going to throw a wild card out there. Alex Bowman wins Dover. I'm saying Alex bon Bowman wins Dover. I think he could really surprise people. And we're going to see a surprise winner. We're just going to have one driver that's just going to win that no one expected. I think Alex Bowman wins Dover. Now, moving to Talladega, this could be a really wild card race, and it most likely will. We usually don't see guys like Kevin Harvick or even, you know, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., guys like that. We usually don't see win Talladega, but I think we're going to have a more broader name driver, and I don't think it's going to be Joey Logano. I'm going to say Brad Keselowski. He's going to win Talladega. That's my prediction. I think Penske's going to get another win at a restrictor plate track, and I think Keselowski is going to put himself in the round of eight. In the final race, in the round of 12, well, you have Kansas, and there's one driver who's really good at Kansas, Kevin Harvick. He wins. I think Harvick puts himself into the round of eight, winning Kansas. Then you got Keselowski, who wins Talladega. Bowman wins Dover. Those three drivers moving on to the round of eight. Who's going to get cut? All right, so we already have three winners, as we already mentioned. So those guys are already moving on, but four are not going to make it, guys. And those four drivers, Eric Amarola, he's not getting out of the round of 12, in my opinion. So that's one driver out. Another driver, Eric Jones. I think he's going to be eliminated. I, I just don't think he's going to be able to keep up with his teammates to compete for these wins. If Kyle Busch or Denny Hamlin are unable to win one of these races, I really don't think Jones is just going to back end and steal it. When he won Darlington, he had to outdrive Kyle Busch. But I just don't see that happening again. I don't think Jones is going to put himself into the round of eight. Now, this one might come as a shock. I don't think Chase Elliott's going to get out of the round of 12 either. I think Chase Elliott is going to be on, a, he's going to be borderline in or out. And I think he's actually going to be the last driver uh, eliminated in the round of 12. And the final driver in my prediction, now this one's probably going to be based on an accident, based on someone just 
just not running good. And I think that driver is going to be Ryan Blaney. Sure, he's had flashes of speed. You know, he had a really good run at Indianapolis going, but I just don't think he's going to be able to go to Kansas and go to Talladega, put up enough points to avoid that cut line. Because four drivers at the end of the day are going to be eliminated, and I think Ryan Blaney is going to be one of them. So to recap, Alex Bowman wins Dover, Keselowski wins Talladega, and of course, Kansas goes to Kevin Harvey. They're moving on to the round of eight, and the four drivers eliminated, Chase Elliott, Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, and of course, Eric Almirola. That's my four drivers eliminated, and that's my three race winners. Let's go to the round of eight. All right, guys, the round of eight, three races. If you win, you're going to be racing for a championship at Homestead Miami Speedway, and those three races are Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix. This is the no mulligan round. There's no room for error. Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, they're going to have like 40 points to the good. I mean, literally, these guys are almost a lock for Homestead. But these tracks, are they're, they're not baby tracks. They're not tracks that you can go to and just really just, just blow the doors off people. You're either going to be really good or really bad. Uh, a guy like Ryan Blaney, is it going to go to Martinsville? and Phoenix and finish second in both races and just point himself in. No, you're going to have to win these races. And I just don't think you're going to have an outsider just come in and just win. Maybe Texas, because we've seen Johnson do it in the past. I don't think he's going to do it this year. But it's not a round that you can just jump in and move on to Homestead without really winning. So I think when we go to Martinsville, we're going to see, I think, either Joe Gibbs Racing or Penske win this event. And in my opinion, in my opinion, guys... Joey Logano. I think Joey Logano is actually going to win this race at Martinsville again, and he's going to put himself in the Final Four. So that's one driver locked for Homestead, Joey Logano. Now we're going to go to Texas Motor Speedway. You know, it's not the old Texas where it's really fast and just really abrasive on tires at the same time. Hendrick usually does pretty good at Texas, but mm, Harvick might be a very hard fight. Uh, driver there. Denny Hamlin won here earlier this year, but I'm going to go with Kyle Busch. I think Kyle Busch surprises at Texas. You know, he's had some bad runs there. Um, sure, he's won there before. It's not necessarily a surprise, but I would think Hamlin or Truex would win over Kyle Busch at Texas. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Kyle Busch. And in the final race before the cut line, Phoenix. Now, this is going to be your season finale uh, in 2020, but in 2019, it's Homestead, so Phoenix is the cut line race, and Kevin Harvick is money. Kevin Harvick is absolutely the one driver you gotta beat every time you go to Phoenix. He is just that good. I mean, he's like Jimmy Johnson, or vintage Jimmy Johnson at Charlotte, but Kyle Busch won here earlier this year, and I don't know if he's gonna win again, but he's certainly gonna be up there. Kyle Busch winning Texas, he's locked in, and then you got Joey Logano, who won Martinsville, He's locked in too. So that's two big name drivers that are already locked in. And now you got guys like Truex and you got Denny Hamlin who are going to be competing for the win. And this one might be a little bit of a surprise, but I'm going to take Martin Truex Jr. to win Phoenix. He doesn't really do good here, guys. He really doesn't. But I'm going to say he's going to win. I think he's going to win Phoenix. And he's going to put himself in the final three. And this leaves one driver who's going to have to absolutely have three perfect races to make the final four. Now, here is the one driver that will get it on points, and it's not Kevin Harvick. It's not Denny Hamlin. Kurt Busch is going to shock the field and go to Homestead Miami Speedway and compete for a championship. Look, we've seen it the last few years. You have four drivers you you think you're going to make it. No, someone's going to have problems. Someone's going to have a, a bad pit stop, a, a penalty, or even a wreck. They're not going to make it in on points. Sure, Denny Hamlin has to have at least 30 points to the good, right? You know, he might pick up a few stage wins, but he's going to at least have 30 points to the good. I think he has trouble. I think he has trouble at Texas. He's not going to get in based on points. He's going to be in a must-win situation almost because he's going to be borderline in or borderline out. I think Kurt Busch is going to have a solid three races, and he's going to put himself in the homestead. And that means Kevin Harvick is going to have to have issues too, but 
it's very possible because Logano is going to win himself in, Kyle Busch is going to win himself in, and Truex is going to win himself in. So that means realistically, you have Keselowski, Hamlin, and of course, Harvick. I don't think these three are going to have three perfect races. I think Kurt Busch is going to knock out probably two top fives and a top ten, and he's going to put himself into Homestead. All right, guys, the final race of the playoffs, Homestead Miami Speedway, Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch. Four drivers battling it out. Got a Ford, two Toyotas, and a Chevrolet. And my goodness, this is my prediction. So we're going to go to Homestead. You got Kyle Busch, who's just been there every single year. He's only got one championship to show for. Logano, I mean, he's been there so many years. And he finally broke three last year after his war with Martin Truex. And in Truex, I mean, this cat has been in the final four so many times. He could easily have three or four championships now. But one driver who has not been in serious championship contention for about maybe 10 years, Kurt Busch. Now, here is my prediction. I don't think Truex is going to win. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knock him out. I think Truex is not going to win the championship. I don't think Kyle Busch is either. But here is my prediction. I think it's going to be between Joey Logano and Kurt Busch at Homestead racing for the win. That's my prediction. I really do. I think Kurt Busch is going to give that one car a ride of his life. I mean, he's going to give it his all to win his second title. But at the end of the day, guys, my prediction, drum roll please, Joey Logano goes back to back and he's going to outduel Kurt Busch for the win at Homestead. That's my prediction. A lot of people are probably going to say, you know, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, you know, the, the, the popular drivers or the most hated drivers, whichever. I think it's going to be Logano. I think Logano and Kurt Busch are going to go at it at Homestead, and that's going to be your 2019 champion, and Logano's going to get a second one. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Who do you think's going to win this championship? I'm taking Logano. I hope it's Ellie. I hope it's a Chevrolet, guys. I want a Chevrolet to win this title, but who knows? Realistically, the best guy probably with a shot is probably Denny Hamlin. It really is. Denny Hamlin, has he's had an amazing year. Shades of 2010. I think he is the favorite. But I'm going to say Logano. I mean, this, anything could happen in this playoff format. We've seen how these drivers can't pass. If these drivers have a bad pit stop or they get in a wreck, it's going to change it significantly. They're not going to have that opportunity to make up that track position. So if you have a bad pit stop like Denny Hamlin, he's so prone to speeding on pit road. He's not going to have that opportunity to make it up. So it's going to be a very interesting playoffs. And I am excited, guys. Sunday night, first race, Las Vegas. Holy cow. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of my new content. I'm taking Joey Logano for the championship. I hope it's Chase Elliott. Either way, I am excited. Ten races to go in the season. It's going to be bittersweet when it's all said and done. But, hey, man, it's NASCAR racing. I am excited. Hope you're having a great one. And Die Casper Faye, signing off.